So the president's going to go to Kansas City to do something he's been doing in communities all across the country. The president loves getting 10 letters a night that he reads every night where he can hear from everyday Americans about how they're affected by the policies that he's fighting to implement here in Washington, D.C. So the president's been traveling across the country to meeting with these individual people who've written him letters. He's going to do the same thing in Kansas City. As somebody who was born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri, it is a thrill to pick up the phone and invite people who have written a letter to the President of the United States and let them know that when the President's coming to Kansas City, they get to have dinner with him. Hello. Hello, is this Becky? Yes, it is. Hey, Becky, this is Josh Ernest calling from the White House. Hi, Josh Ernest. <laughs> How are you? Hey, Mark, it's Josh Ernest calling from the White House. Hey, Victor, it's Josh Ernest calling from the White House. Hi, Valerie, this is Josh Ernest calling from the White House. Well, so you, so you know that I'm the press secretary at the White House. Yes, I do. And I was born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri. That's what I hear. Yeah. So I am really excited that the President of the United States is coming to my hometown. I'm calling to see if you have time on Tuesday night to meet the President for dinner and talk about your letter. Oh, wow. Okay. After reading your letter, the President said, you know what, I want to meet this woman. I want to go have dinner with her when I get into Kansas City on Tuesday. So. Are you serious? Yeah. How, oh, my God. How would you feel about that? Oh my God! I would, I would love it. Are you? Oh. We've been, we've been reading your letter at the White House. Why? And well, because it's such, a, it's such a good letter. In fact, I'm not the only person who thought your letter was really good. Uh, Barack Obama, the President of the United States, thought your letter was really good, and he wants to meet you. So, would you be willing to have dinner with the President on Tuesday night? Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Does that sound like fun? That's a black blast. <laughs> no place uh, is more like Kansas City in uh, embodying the kind of spirit in which people recognize that we're all in this together. That if our community can be pulled in the same direction, that despite our differences, we can all succeed. It sounds like you were doing amazing things in the community, and we are so impressed by what you've done. And uh, like I said, it's not just me who feels that way. The president wants to, uh, to meet you firsthand and to express his gratitude firsthand, too. This is one of those times that, you know, for a guy like me, thank yous don't come around very often. <laughs> you have earned this kind of recognition because of what you're doing in your community. So we're real, we're really proud of you. You certainly make me uh, proud to be a Kansas City, and I'll tell you that. I am just amazed that little bitty old me is going get to this, get this chance. I've seen so many people that were affected by not having health care coverage and having to make a choice between eating or you know, that life-saving treatment. And at that point, I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta say something. I, I wrote it in the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I'm really trying. I mean, I could talk for an hour about all the stuff that I'm trying to do, because I can't work any harder. I have to work smarter. Well, look, I, th I think the experience that you've had is not different than a lot of other people. They just want to be heard. And they just want to know yeah. that, that somebody out there is trying to look out for them and somebody out there is fighting for them. And when the president goes to bed at night, or I, I guess more appropriately, when the president wakes up in the morning and he walks over into the Oval Office, uh, it's people like you who've written letters just like this. Uh, those are the people the president has in mind. That he, those are the people that the president's fighting for. I am so happy. I am so blessed. Oh, well, that's, uh, I, I know the president is really excited to meet you, so I, he can't wait for for Tuesday night. You get it. And okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Becky. Have a good day. Uh, you too. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.